Hey, who's doing a live broadcast? That doesn't sound right. Hey folks, how you doing? We have to be uh, here tonight because our loving daughter over there, our autistic wonder, has to have someone watching her so we can't go into the studio. So we're here tonight. Sorry about the echo. Because we're not in the studio. Oops. New Brunswick electric vehicle rebates coming on. Uh, Trenton Paul Nazareth and Billy Squire in Nashville. Oh, cool. The best? Was that the best? Uh, guys, just say best show, worst show. And I've said this before in our broadcast. Shannon will be joining us in a second. By the way, next week we'll be coming on at, uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. A new time. By the way, like our videos. Thank you. Our last video did a lot better. Because people, we weren't asking you to like our videos, and we should be doing that. Because So, Geronimo, welcome back. Greetings from Montreal, Quebec, my birthplace. Please say that you have listened to, I have listened to her, yes. She's, 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 um, she's a pretty singer, and, and so she's good in that way. I did listen to her. Shannon made me listen, by the way. She said you, hey, Shani. Yes. Lucy Thomas. I did. Yeah, talented. Yeah, musicals. Thank you. She has she has that kind of voice. I think she has a great uh, um, future in that. She's a really pretty singer. Disco. And I've started listening to the uh, the Broadway channel on XM, Sirius XM. I must say I like it. You got to be in the mood for it. And a lot of these musicals, I haven't been to a lot of musicals. I I, I seem to like. I saw Dweezil Zappa. This is from Barry Bowman. Hey, Barry. And met him. He was so nice. Uh, it's Maria Day. We can't have a broadcast without Maria. Hi, Maria. And Toro Toro Porco. Hey, welcome back, Maria Day. And Maria says hi, Toro. <laughs> you guys are starting to know each other. It's so nice. By the way, any of you want to come on a broadcast live, we're going to start doing that maybe once a week and come on live. And anyone who wants to join us and talk about music, do it. We'll have like a whole bunch of little screens and everyone will have a chance to talk. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I've seen it online. I've done it with Pablo Cruz once, not live, where there was me and five guys. And I remember thinking it's like hurting cats a little bit. Nothing against the guys in Pablo Cruz. But one person down here will be telling their story about working with Roger Waters and that's a great story. But it has nothing to do with Pablo Cruz. And, you know... It's hard to chop it up. You know what I mean? Like chop up interviews. Okay, we're getting a lot of people talking here. Alex Knight. Hey, Alex. Alex Knight with the Most Beautiful Family. You guys have a really cool life. There's a lot of music. Alex, I have a lot of respect for you, man. Genesis is always great. Even Phil sitting down is still awesome. Yeah. Uh, Subtle Sharks. Best, Thin Lizzy. Worst, the Psychedelic Furs. Oh, really? JC says... Uh, Pink Floyd, the Division Bell, the, the Becca Blum from. I'm a broadcaster, can't you tell? The Division Bell Tour on acid in San Diego. <laughs> you make me say that word. Oh, no. You know, we get demonetized sometimes if we say the name of... Uh, Disco. D-R-U-G. Anyway, it can. Blues Rider. Hey, hey. JC. Uh, no, I already wrote that. Brandon Steele. Hey, Brandon. Good morning from Ride Australia. Thank you for joining us. Best concerts were seeing Yes in Australia in 2004 over two nights. Wow. Also seeing Kraftwerk perform two albums at our Sydney Opera House. Oh, the Sydney Opera House. By the way, I'm only 33. The Sydney Opera House. You know, they always joke about the fact that it looks like dishes lined up. How dare they say that? It's such a beautiful building. Uh, Melody R. Hey, Melody. ACDC was great. Ronnie Parker. Best kiss. Hot in the shade of in uh, a 1989 tour. Haven't had a bad show yet. Disco. Wow. Well, that's pretty cool. Disco. Orange Moose Meyer. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Best was Journey. Fourth row. Uh, you know, whenever you're close to the stage, it's always a great show. Uh, worst was Kiss after they took off their makeup. Started sounding like uh, big bear, big hair bands. I call those bands cross rock bands. Snowman. Hello, John. Hello, please, everyone. And there's always someone who's out there who reminds us, by the way, Shannon's coming out in a second, that please like our videos because they rank higher 
I mean, I've always known that, but I've never wanted to say, hey, like our videos. But now, my cohorts, and I know a lot of other people who do the, the, the type of videos we do, and they say, no, you gotta, you gotta ask your audience, you, you know, please like our videos. So where are we at? 12 likes, so come on, guys. You better than that. Maria Day, don't I sound like I'm at a circus selling Ginzu knives? I sound like I'm at the fair selling Ginzu knives. <laughs> now I look like a drummer. I don't look like a guy holding knives. Maria Day, we know each other from another music live stream. Oh, you guys know, okay. Geronimo. Disco. Best concert was Roy Orbison. I saw Roy Orbison as well. Sat two rows from the front. I was pretty close. We were at a Winter Garden showroom in Edmonton. It was really nice. David Mays, Alice Cooper and Billion Dollar Babies was the first major concert. Awesome, wow, you started big. Brandon Steele, also seeing Dweezil Zappa. Oh, Dweezil plays Zappa, yes. Uh, Charles Kaufman, hey Charles, I don't know you, but welcome to the, I, I recognize a lot of names here. Mo Blues 247, welcome back. Paul McCartney and Wings, Wings Over America Tour. Wow, 76, I would have loved to see that. Uh, Pookie Martinez. The Ramones at the Roxy was my favorite. Oh, she's okay, Shin. Uh, Susie at the Banshees. Um, at the you know, Wiltrum was boring. My girlfriend and I uh, left through half the show. Wow. Ronnie Cedarlund. I don't think, Ronnie, you've been on here before. Thank you. Welcome back. Or oh, welcome. Sticks with Dennis Young twice. I only saw them once. Paradise Theater Show was the only time I saw Sticks, which of course had Dennis Young. John Euf, the best was Paul McCartney, Little Rock, Arkansas, 2016. The worst, Atlanta Rhythm Section at the local festival in the late 90s. Paul Evans, best Bruce Springsteen, born in the USA tour. Worst, Kansas, 79. That would have been Monolith, right? In 79, that would have been the Monolith tour, wouldn't it? Bill Griffin, Genesis, 1982, the Greek theater, uh, UC Berkeley. I also saw Genesis twice, I think. I thought the self-titled, you know, Genesis album with Mama on it. I hate that song. And the Duke tour. It was the first show in the Duke tour. Alex Knight. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Patrick Nicolucci. Best concert, 76. And here she is. Coming in to sit down. There she is. Oh, the screen just got prettier. Hi, Shani. Hello, everyone. Shani, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Welcome to our, our Friday night gig. Enough people were asking people to like our videos. We're at 26 likes. Please do. I think we're we take over from this? Sweet Savage. Sweet Savage, welcome back. You've, you've been here before. And he said, Lover Boy in Vegas with Survivor and Eddie Money. Great show. Oh, that would be cool. great. What a good combination. Yeah. Talk about bands that fit together. Yeah. We miss Eddie. You know, oh, someone just gave us a super chat. Snowman, thank you. Best concert, Rush uh, 102 Center. Stage, oh, it'll come up again. Sorry, it'll come up again. Oh, we've got a lot. Uh, best concert, Rush 102 Center st Center Stage, fourth row with my brother. Wow. Uh, may he rest in peace. Worst concert, the Cars. All they did was stand there. Really? I saw the Cars. Yikes. Uh, Mackenzie, thank you for thank your you. super chat. Thank uh, fave, you. a goblin in Toronto with secret uh, chiefs. Wow. Now no, we got all these we've missed. That's no problem. I will just. Thank uh, you for your super chats. We appreciate it. Thank you. Were. My God, we're, by the way, we're starting an ad campaign this week with a new trailer. Uh, it's a trailer that you won't see unless uh, uh, it's, it's purely for advertising because we've done a lot of research on how to do this because we want to get to 100,000. We'll get to 90,000 this week, which is great. We've done all that without advertising. We're finally saved. You know, all the time you, anybody who donates money to us, we save it in a pile for when we're ready to do a big launch for advertising. This whole channel's been a soft launch. We basically didn't advertise. But we've taken the opportunity to actually invest a little bit in um, in strategies. So that's been yeah. uh, a really a positive thing. That well, we thought we could get, to, I thought, let's get to 100,000 without spending any money on the channel whatsoever. Because, you know, you'll get, a lot of channels do this kind of stuff. And all of a sudden you'll see in a day they'll get, they'll get uh, consistently 100 to 200,000 hits. And most of the time, uh, unless it's a big channel. If it's a big channel, they earn it. But if it's a very small channel, a lot of times they're putting five, ten bucks on each video. And that's okay. A lot of a lot of people do that. You know, it's like people who buy it's not like people who buy followers. That that I don't believe in that kind of stuff. And I don't know I don't know anyone who does what we do who buys followers. I don't know that. 
word gets around them sometimes, right? Okay, so... Um, oh, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Brandon Steele, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sorry, I'm just going back. I don't want to miss anything. I see, this is my phone, by the way. This is up here. Okay, so Charles uh, Kaufman, best Peter Frampton at a small beach club in Florida. Oh. David says, Elton John, Yellow Brick Road uh, uh, show was fantastic. You saw the Yellow Brick Road tour in 73, wow. Ooh. Uh, Trent and Paul, Division Bell was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Blues Rider, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, 1983. Oh, what a time to see them, too. Uh, Joel Smith, I've been fortunate. I've never really saw a bad show. Purple Rain Tour was great. Even, uh, even seated behind the stage. Uh, least favorite was probably Madonna, like a virgin tour in Detroit. It was meh. I would just got into radio. I'd been in radio maybe two years at that point when she released uh, Like a Virgin. It was a big deal. I was working at a station that played a lot of Madonna, and uh, it was a big deal. The album cover was more was very sophisticated uh, as opposed to the last one, and we knew they they just threw money at this. Oh God! Oh, uh, thank you, to thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, it's like we're doing a pledge drive or something. We're not. But <laughs> Sean thank you. says, "Wow, what a tough question for me to answer since my family's in the music industry. My grandfather." Oh. I don't know how to say that. Is it, is it Charlie, Charlie Atkins? Worked as a choreographer at Motown Records from 64 to 73. Wow. Wow. Good for you. And Orange Muse Meyer is, is it? Biongo was, was great. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is there either. Uh, JC, Melody Day ACDC with um, Bon Scott was good in 1977. Wow, you saw them with Bon Scott. Crazy. Appreciate all these, by the way. Thank you. And like our videos. Thank you tonight. Like our videos. We appreciate that. There's such good feedback here. I'm just, I don't want to miss anybody. My apologies if I do miss 37 something. 37 likes. Thank you. And I mean, I don't want to beleaguer the point for the likes, but they do make a big difference, not only for this video, for the rest of the channels. And we've noticed that it, it's like YouTube pays more attention or something. Uh, Sean says, from the Temptations, the Supremes, the Four Tops, to Glass Night, and the Pips, to the OJs, to the Spinners, I've seen some amazing shows. Oh shoes. my God, you've seen wow. great R&B acts and Motown acts, wow. Yeah. Red says, best concert, Bob Seger in 77, worst was Bob Dylan, couldn't understand a word he said. Oh my God, during his oh my God, phase. Maddie Kay. Cheers, you guys, you crazy diamonds, love you guys, Mina. Oh my God, oh, thank you so Maddie much. Kay, that's so thank sweet. Thank you. Appreciate that. We'll see the channel get a lot more exposure in the next two, three weeks because of uh, uh, every time someone's donated to the channel, we've said, okay, we're going to put this aside. We finally have a strategy with a little help from some other people. Some musicians have said, okay, listen, why aren't you bigger? And, uh, and there's one very popular uh, musician who's in one of the biggest bands who also donated not a lot of money, just a little bit of money because didn't want to, he said, I don't want to seem like a payola. But, and his wife did as well, and it was really kind, and, and basically said, you guys should be bigger, you know, like, you do, you do really good work. And it's nice when someone says that, because this can be a thankless job, and it's, so, I, you know, I, it, it almost made me cry. I went, oh, well, gee, thanks, you know, because I'm just used to doing this. I've been doing this for 39 years, and when people go out of their way and say, hey, thank you, and like our videos, look at 46. Like <laughs> you guys are great tonight. Thank you. Uh, Kevin says, my favorite was uh, CSNY in 1999 in Columbus, Ohio. My least favorite concert was Dire Straits at Brendan Byrne Arena in New Jersey. Wow. I like Dire Straits, but something was missing in excitement that night. Sometimes that happens, huh? Remember how uh, uh, Mark Nelfer says he got the name uh, uh, for Sultans of Swing? Like he was in this seedy bar and he came he was watching this, this band that kind of going through the motions. And at the end of it, the lead singer said... Thank you, or what I'm paraphrasing. Thank you, we are the Sultans of Swing. And, oh, you're hitting, hitting the camera. Sorry, trying to. <laughs> or the tripod. Uh, David says, America in Plattsburgh, New York was a great deal. I saw them too, they were great. I introduced them on stage. And of course, Melody R says, Randy Bachman was awesome. Uh, Tina White says, hello, John, I'm from England. Oh, cool. We want to go so bad. Sean says, but on the rock side, it has to be Van Halen 1982 and Journey with Brian Adams opening in 1983. Oh my. That must have been that a great That would have been crazy. Concert. I think the biggest one I saw nice. was the two, Peter Gabriel and David Bowie. As far as grand things, oh. Rock Circus was big too. Rock Circus 2 with the uh, uh, Prism and Toronto and Foreigner and Ian Hunter, mm -hmm. Mick Ronson and Ian Hunter. Um... I don't know who else was on the bill, I forget. 
Hey Spacey, best concert experience was Sticks Kansas 1996, second oh. row, with a group of friends. Oh. Nice. Especially when going with friends, you know, you got your posse with you. Pumpkin King, I saw Rush over a dozen times. Each one was the best concert I went to. Wow. Good for you. I've only seen Rush once. Moving pictures to her. And uh, Maddie K USA says, we are better than that. Huh? That was from a super chat. We are better than that. Oh, okay. Uh, Ronnie says. Oh, Queen's right. Right. Operation M uh, Mind Crime Tour. Uh, Blaze, Brother John, the best concert Blaze. was the Rudy Blues hey. at San Diego's Hospitality Point for my wife's 47th birthday. Blaze, nice to have and you 1996 on 1996 was the th with the San Diego Symphony. Great time. God bless. Thanks. Oh, wow. Thanks for joining There's us. Some, we've had some great concerts. Oh, we're, we're getting a, look, a lot of good likes. 48, I think it is. Okay, so we've got uh, Cool Granddaddy Sweets Forever. I hope I got that right. U.S. Festival, um, Us Festival, uh, yeah. Us Festival, sorry, HMS and Family uh, Values Tour with STP, Lincoln Park, mm. S Stain, and Static. Yeah, yeah. Static and Stone Temple Pilots, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Maria Day says, I'll take a set of knives. What? <laughs> I have a what? picture. Maria, you're scary. And David says, McCartney and Wings in Montreal was a great memory. Oh, I want to see McCartney. He's coming to Halifax, and uh, we're thinking of, of taking a dive and just going, you know, just uh, taking a chance and going. I'm actually an Alanis Morissette fan, and she was actually on tour again this year. Uh, she's coming to her old... Um, stomping grounds. Stomping grounds in Alberta, but she's not making her way to New Well, Florida. she's probably coming to Montreal, so we're not that far yeah. from Montreal. I don't think I traveled to Montreal to see Alanis Morissette. I love Alanis Morissette. Uh, her first four, five albums were amazing. Oh my God. Thank you, Joey. He says, best Boston sticks opening 2008. First row, gorgeous August night, indoors, worst. Okay, hang on and go back and I want to make sure I can get Well, thank that. you for your super chat. We appreciate that. Uh, let me go in. So I want to make sure. Okay, best Boston with sticks. Opening in 2008, first row, gorgeous August night outdoors, worst Elton John, Billy Joel on Philly baseball field. Couldn't see. Oh, oh. Joey, thank you. Appreciate your super chat. Thank you chat. so much. Like I said, we're doing a, we're finally doing a campaign. We've been talking about this forever. We've had the money on the side, um, and which is, which is a, you know, a thing that we've always wanted to do. With YouTube, you never know what's gonna happen. There's a lot of people who do, because we're doing the Patreon thing, because we've just found Tons of interviews we're not going to put on this channel. We're just going to put them on Patreon, mainly because a lot of them are old, but they're moments in time of a lot of really cool interviews. I was debating on, uh, there was an interview with Joyce DeWitt I did, and I know that's not rock. I think we'll put that on our nail sheet channel where I think I told you guys she was doing a dinner theater thing as a lot of 70s are, uh, uh, um, actors do. John Ritter had just died a little while before and they told me you can't mention John Ritter. She won't talk about him. I'm going, I'm like, I can't interview Joyce DeWitt and not mention Do John Ritter, who just died. It's like the elephant in the room. So I, I didn't say I wouldn't do it. And I went on there and I was getting the feel for it. We're on live. I'm doing the afternoon drive show uh, in Calgary, which, you know, is a major market. And I went, you know, I got to be good here. But we got along really well. And finally, I said, it's, it must have been tough losing John. And she, she started crying. She just started crying. And I put my hand around her on live radio and she says, it's okay, it's okay. I know you had to ask or something, she said. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'd have to listen to the interview again, but yeah. But anyway, I've got a lot of interviews from live on air that I'm gonna put on there, and it'll be for our Patreon people. Uh, because YouTube is really, un, YouTube is not dependable as far as a monthly income. We Listen, we get by, but we need to have a Patreon. You know, we, we need to do that. Uh, Pete was just saying it sounds echoey in here. Is it because it's because of the room, guys. Sorry. Let's we could bring ourselves a little closer. But the room, we don't have our microphone here. Oh, that's too close for me. I mean, you look so good up close. Plus, this room has really high ceilings, so maybe that doesn't help. Okay, you want to see a ceiling? Check this out. Look at look at these ceilings. That's, that's a ceiling that's for you. That's enough to make anybody. Sick here. Sorry about that. I didn't need to do that. But we bought this house. It came with really high ceilings. And we want, Shannon, I said to Shannon, be careful what you ask for because she said, I want really high ceilings. And we're, well, hey, let's see. Because houses with really high ceilings have a tendency to be very expensive. Luckily, this is a bungalow. So. 
And we love bungalows. Well, it's got a walkout story. basement. It's got a walkout basement, which is nice because it's on a hill. And we have a great view of of the, the, the some of the city on this side, but it's just a road basically in wilderness. But you can see the lights at the end. <laughs> One of these days I'll show you when it's when it's lighter. I'll do a I'll do a, a podcast when it's daytime. And then there's a road going straight here. We thought we'd run into lights going in our but we still have this original owner curtain here. Black kind of a, curtain, so kind of a cheap curtain, but it works really well. In the daytime when we're watching a movie, it's good. When you know dark movies, when we watch a horror movie or a suspenseful thing, it's in the dark. And you can't see because it's too bright. I'm not watching horror movies or in the dark. Suspenseful. I, I don't watch anything suspenseful. horror. I'm not a horror. When it's suspenseful. Although we did watch one on Netflix, Mid Midnight Mass. Was that what it was called? <gasps> it was so good. Have you watched Midnight Mass? It was really good. Okay, we're going off topic. Okay, off topic. Sorry, I want to make sure I catch I'm, people I'm like here. a dog with a Chuck says, um, uh, which version of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds did you like better, the Beatles or Elton John's? I've never liked the Beatles version. You know, when John comes in and he starts singing... I just, I've never liked it. I just always found their version, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'd heard their version first, but I hadn't heard their version that many times because I, for whatever reason, that album got to me late. So I have to say Elton John's version sounds like Elton John, right? Like those soaring vocals, especially at the end. Oh, you know, it's like, it was pretty cool. Uh, Bob's Place. Good best. question. Uh, from Bob's place, the best was Elvis. The place <gasps> was electric. The whole concert. The worst was Hank Williams Jr. He did two songs, uh, sent the band off stage, sat in a chair, and sang parts of his dad's songs. Wow. Well, I heard, I've heard from knowing a few people in Nashville that he can be a cantankerous guy. He can, uh, he can be challenging. And I don't think I'm pushing the envelope by saying that. Uh, Joel Smith, best show ever was Kiss in 2019. My then eight-year-old still says it was the best day of his life. Oh, wow. Uh, he saw his hero's li uh, live compliments of Paul Stanley himself. Uh, even got the meet and greet. He was awesome. Oh, that's really nice. Thanks for the likes, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for liking our video. That's really nice to, to have, uh, not only to see the show, but to meet the person. We've done that many times. You know, we were lucky being in radio. I've had that opportunity to go backstage or even to introduce... You were you were with me when America came. When no, yeah, yeah. I, I was saying I introduced them. I think I introduced their opening act. I don't think I. We were promoting the concert and I hung out with them, but I don't. I don't. Why do I say introduce them? I introduced their opening act. Yeah, that's what it is. I always want to keep things on that. Kim said, "Country is Reba and Garth Brooks. Rock Peter Frampton and next month Toto." Oh wow! Yeah, Toto uh, canceled their individual tour. Not sure why, I don't have, everyone seems to think I have inside information because I've talked to the band so many times. I haven't talked to Luke and, I don't know, I haven't talked to Luke in five months, six months. Been a long time. Richard says best is Jethro Tull. Great, yeah. Juha said Gino Vanelli had the best sound ever. We went to see Gino. We, yeah. We, we went, we, we talked to him backstage after. I, but, felt, I felt like I was stepping back in time because he still had the white t-shirt on, the kind of acid wash jeans, and he had on the white runners. Like he, it was like it took me right back. Yeah. But he was, it, it was such a good concert. We and met, him, met him after backstage. After, well, thanks so because nice. of the record company. But, but it's so strange. Here he does a whole show. And he's, you can see he was perspiring a little bit. But the guy smelled so damn good. <laughs> oh my God. I remember going, I even t I'm pretty sure I told him, I said, you are the best smelling man. I <laughs> he smelled so good. <laughs> Raul says, believe it or not, Sly and the Family Stone at the University of Illinois oh, wow. almost brought the Assembly down, Hall uh, dome down, of course. Um, he was two hours late. Yeah, but famous for that, yeah. Uh, David said, the Guess Who Nazareth show was excellent. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Brandon said, that would be a great idea chatting with you in the box. It would be easier. It would be easily be a five-hour conversation. I think we we should look at, I think that if anyone wants to do it, just text me, not text me, um, on the about page on our cha uh, channel is always our email address, my email address, mm -hmm. John Bowden at iCloud.com. Um, or else get a hold of us on our Facebook group, Rock History Music slash book. You'll find it. Just put and, and then just email me there, and uh, we'll uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk to you. 
I'd like to have a posse of about 20 people that I go to people. Like I'll say, hey man, uh, so and so just died. You want to come on with me? And just, and that could be a springboard for any one of you who want to do what I do because there's never too many people. I mean, you know, it, you'll find your crowd no matter what. So I always say that. We were looking at that a few years ago, but people that wanted to work with us were very uh, not dependable at all because they had, they didn't realize what they were getting into. Nothing against, they were all good people. Some of them are still with us, you know, listening to our videos and watching our videos, but they have jobs, they have kids, it's hard, you know. Uh, Gennaro says, worst concert that I saw was Jeff Beck. Oh, really? I left early, thank God I got free tickets, priced at $150 yeah. a pop. That's why we don't go to a lot of concerts. Uh, Derek Vaughn, best was Peter Gabriel on the uh, US tour, worst was Styx. But it was because they were having a really off night and it showed. Really, yeah. Sometimes you're just... I mean, I have a few bands that I could tell you some stories from band members who have told me the amounts of fighting backstage was just insane. And because it was told to me in confidence, and you guys know some of these bands, that just, it was so dramatic and insane. It's crazy. Like, just hatred backstage. Uh, and that that adds up to a really bad show usually. Uh, Spacey says, worst experience was Yes in Cincy with Frampton. A great performances, but it was held in a concrete business park in the middle of summer. Oh, wow. Oh. No kidding, eh? Uh, Chris says, best sounding concert was Steely Dan in 94. Best show was hard to pick, but ELP and Yes Union are at the top. Worst wow. was Black Crows. Really? Yeah, were they fighting? <laughs> they were famous for that. Uh, 20, Get brothers in a band, man. 20 years of 24 podcast Best Foo Fighters, Dave's Broken Leg Tour. Yeah. Yeah, that was, like, the show must go on, right? Uh, Matty K. USA said, old man. Hey, I, remember, I remember Elton John performing with Neil Diamond, 1970. I'm ancient, apparently. <laughs> I, <work. laughs> I, I feel you. I feel you, yeah. Oh, and Melody, John Cougar Mellencamp wasn't as good as I thought he would be. Hmm. Uh, Rick May, best concert, Jethro Tull, Thick as a Brick Tour with Captain <gasps> Beefheart, the oh. opening act, strangest concert opening act, the OJ's headliner. Tour, tour, Porkles, five bucks, thank you. Ooh, no bad no concerts, concerts, but bet came close because the sound was awful. And, sorry, I... Oh. <laughs> sorry. I have to scroll. I know I'm so far behind. Uh, a Sean Lennon opened and sounded great. Oh, cool. Oh. Brad Bourgeois told me he had Sean Lennon. Uh, he worked with, with Sean Lennon for a, a, a charity single. And Sean Lennon says, well, I'll repost it. And, and Sean Lennon's got a, quite a bit of following. And when I interviewed Brad Bourgeois, you know, Bourgeois tag. Um, and he said, uh, we, we got an extra $5 donation. He says, it was really weird. It made no sense. He says, maybe it's because people didn't associate me with, at the time, with Sean Lennon. But, and like I said, Sean Lennon has a good, it's not, it has nothing to do with him. Sometimes if you do a fundraiser or something, uh, if the formula's not right, I don't know. Hard to find your way back. Right? I know. I'm going through trying to. Sorry if I don't catch everybody. Oh, maybe here. I can read some we're, stuff. We're, we're pretty far behind. But uh, uh, Brian says, my favorite rush, my worst was Almond Brothers. The almonds were oh, drunk and stoned. Oh, wow. Yikes. I haven't seen a lot of shows where people seem to be out of it. I mean, Iggy Pop always seems to be out of it because, and Iggy Pop is the best performer I've ever seen. I've never seen anybody perform like Iggy Pop <laughs> with an opening for the Pretenders. It was crazy. But like I've said many times in these live feed, we were with me and Steve, my friend Steve Burgess, who gave me all those interviews. We were in the front or second row, and we were with both reviewers for opposite papers. They were opposing papers, but they're friends, of course. And they're writing reviews. Uh, Greg says, a Triumph Aussie Lover Boy and Foreigner Outdoor Festival in 1983. Wow. That would have been... Oh, what I saw Foreigner outside, too. Yeah, Lou Graham sounded amazing. And uh, I think it was the Head Games tour. I'm almost positive it was the Head Games era. Head Games. Uh, Gary Mitz, Best Kinks 1979, Albany, New York, uh, oh. Palace Theater, first time, hooked me on Kinks, Worst George Harrison, Dark Horse Tour, uh, Nassau Coliseum, Horrific Voice, thank goodness for uh, Billy Preston. 
Oh yeah, Billy Preston, the fifth Beatle. Sometimes I think about that. I can't believe Billy Preston's dead. I mean, I know I get that with George and John, but Billy Preston's dead. Like, wow. Mark says, hi from Utah. Best was Robin Trower. Paul, right on. Oh, we're on the, we're, we're working on it. <laughs> uh, hype with Mike. I saw Motley Crue in Warwick before they were famous. That was really cool to see bands when they were really hungry to make it big. Yes. Especially. Thank Mike. you. Good point. That, that, that's a, they always say sometimes when a band becomes very successful and there's a lot of money at stake, things go wrong. <clears throat> oh, thank you for all the likes. I appreciate you liking our thank video. You. Thank you. Let's get it to 100. That would be nice. Uh, the Raging Dolphins Maniac. Best shows ever saw was Tom Petty with the Black Crows opening. Second best was a uh, Tesla show at a small casino. I saw Tom Petty. I think it was Northlands Coliseum. Pretty big show. Again, the Torpedoes. And it was already a big show. Like, you know, just a few albums in. Uh, Medicaid USA. Love the Stray Cats. Oh, cool. Uh, Joanna. Love the interviews with Steve Hackett. For me, it was Genesis in 1979 in Montreal. Oh, Wow. <laughs> Yeah, so you saw them for, and then there were three, I guess, right? Or was it 1980 for you? Did they tour in 79? We saw them in Edmonton in 1980, right after Duke was released. I think it was the first show. Daryl Sturmer and I talked about it, their touring guitarist. I used to interview him like every six months back in the early 2000s. Brian says, thanks, John and Shan. I love your channel. Thank and you. yes, you do great work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Like I said, you know, thanks for all the super chats tonight because it comes in timely because of our campaign that's starting. Uh, if not tomorrow, the next day, as far as promoting the, the we'd like to get to 100,000. And it looks nice when you're asking for an interview. Oh, by the way, we have 100,000. We always tell them, hi, it's John Bowden. It's the same letter all the time. Hi, it's John Bowden from, I always say, from Move 103 in Vancouver because it sounds good. So they know I'm not a schmo. They know, and if they look me up, they'll know I've been in radio forever. Um, <clears throat> Always in major markets. So it shows that I, you know, obviously, you know what you're doing, I think. And I'd say from, you know, Rocky Street Music's YouTube channel, and I always put how much, whatever, like 89,000 subscribers. Uh, Crazy Prob 19, Steve Hackett performing Seconds Out was pretty good considering I never thought the band who made the live album did the material justice beyond 1980. Well, the Seconds Out, um, the Seconds Out album is one of my favorite live albums of all time. I, I really, I really like that. And sometimes I forget to mention it, but it really is good. And we've got uh, Blaze, Brother John, another hey, great one. Elton John, 1971 at the San Diego Community Concourse with Dee Murray and Nigel Olsen, oh. Tumbleweed Connection, and played a new song called Madman Across the Water. Oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. Talk about a moment in time. That's playing pretty, my favorite album. That's pretty, yeah, right? That's, I talked to Bruce Hornsby who did in the, what is it, Two Rooms or whatever that covers album was called. <clears throat> I hate covers, but I love what Bruce Hornsby, who was a big Elton John fan, who else worked with Elton John as met him. Um, he did Mad Men Across the Water. And I just was interviewing him at the time. And he said, that's such a somber piece. And it stopped me in my tracks. And he just said, it, he said, it meant so much to me. And he says, I really want to do that song. And they let me do it. Uh, Gary says, hello, John Shan. How are you all tonight? We're good, Hi. thank you. Gennaro, please press the like button. Thank you. We thank you. A snowman. I've seen Rush every tour since Power Windows in 1984. Oh, but you got, no, we got 77 on, uh, uh, 77 likes. Thank you. Get us to 100. Sound like I'm gonna, I've done a whole bunch <laughs> of TV, uh, uh, telethons. I've done a lot of those as the guy on the phone. I've never hosted because I was never that important or well known, but I'd be, I'd, I'd, uh, I was always so scared. I'd pretend I was on the phone. I didn't want to be interviewed by the local host. <laughs> I was a few times. Uh, Randy <laughs> says, Paul Simon was best. David Crosby during his drug addiction period, the worst. Mm -hmm. He nodded off in a chair during the show. Yeah. Oh. You want to hear a story about nodding off? I used to go, I couldn't afford uh, counseling <laughs> in the late eighties. So I went to a psychiatrist because I needed counseling. I was going through a lot of stuff. And so I, I said, if I go to a psychiatrist, the government will pay for it as opposed to counseling, which I have to pay for. It. So I waited, waited, got on a waiting list. I, got, I finally got a psychiatrist who gave me, I think I was, I was not Prozac, but something like that. <clears throat> and he used to fall asleep every week in his chair. Every week. Every Yeah, he fell asleep in his chair, listening to my freaking life. 
<laughs> and I, he'd come back on and never see a thing. How could he not know he fell asleep? I think he, he actually was saying, was, you That's know what? Me. You're no, you're you're good to go, John. No, you, got, you got this, John. Been, you're, 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 you're 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 bringing me to to you my got, death. You Your story is so boring. Oh, John Bowen. Oh, good. I can catch a quick, oh. quick thirty minutes. Yes. Oh, John Bowen. Did he always put the same time every day? It was like the I think he put a siesta. I think he recorded me and played me back at around eleven p.m. so he'd get a good night's sleep. <laughs> a different age record hound. One of the greatest shows for me was Easy Top's Recycler Tour, but there were lots of other great concerts. Yeah, yeah. I uh, shared Fox, the best in blues. Uh, Turtles tour, the bestest, Tears for Fears, May 2022. Oh, I've never seen them. I would love to see them. I'd love, love, love to see them. Uh, Maddie K, I can't imagine anything better than seeing Sir Paul in person. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to meet him. <coughs> I don't think that'll ever happen, but who knows? Uh, uh, Angels, the best concert I ever saw was Rush at the Hollywood Sport Aquarium here in Florida in 84. Um, it's hosted by a radio station that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, that happens a lot, yeah. 103.5, she's only rock and roll. I'm just how far behind you were. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm working it here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying, I'm, my apologies if I miss anybody's uh, top concert that they have seen. Oh well, yeah, we want to make sure that you get a voice, yeah. right? Uh, and you're, you're heard, and it's important. It's kind of cool. I like when I go on a live stream, and someone, even for me, of course, I'm a fan too, and they'll read my, my comment. I'll go, oh, cool, you know. That's how I got Jerry Murata. Jerry Murata let, read my thing and I said, Jerry, he's reading it verbatim. And he says, oh, Rock History Music wants to do a talk to me. Okay, here, email me. And I, and I got Jerry Murata of Peter Gabriel's band in Orleans. And uh, all those. Steve Martin says, Rush, UFO, and Max Webster, <clears throat> October 1977, OKC. One of the best anyway. Oh, cool. Uh, Mole Blues 247, another fave, was my first concert ever. My oldest brother and sis took me. Cream in the original Deep Purple in 1968. Oh was, my God! I was six years old. You win! Oh, that's, that's that is so amazing. cool! Wow. wow. Uh, Joe says Led Zeppelin, uh, Tampa, Florida, May 5th, 73. Stop number two in their 73 tour. 56,000 plus attendance record. I used to listen to the Berlin show over and over. It was their last official show with uh, with Bonzo, and I would listen to it. I mean, uh, you, you keep saying, "How would they?" Uh, I'm, if they only knew that was their last show together, well, you don't know. No one knows what's going to happen tomorrow, right? Uh, Blaze says, Brother John and Sister Shannon, spend the money for Paul. We don't know how much longer he'll be here. He's crowding 80. Yeah. Thank you. Good advice. Uh, Hike with Mike, Def Leppard on the Pyromania Tour. Uh, when they first made it big, was a great concert in Lakeland, Florida. Oh, they, they had the imagine. fire. They had the fire in them. Yeah. Yeah, that was good for you. Uh, Gary says, Dio, 1986, Newcastle City Hall. Yep, that'll never happen again, right? We lost him too, too early. Ronnie James. <clears throat> uh, Randy says, Willie Nelson's sister Bobby passed away yesterday. Yeah. She was 90. <coughs> I just was, heard that when we were out. He was piano player for years. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he released a new song today, too. Uh, Raymond Roberts, Blue Oyster Cult, October 1976, best concert of my 61 years. Oh, cool. Uh, there's the Bouchard brothers are both on this channel. I interviewed both of them. Uh, Little Wing, best concert was always my first. The Kinks, 1984, Cleveland, uh, Donnie Iris opening, Ray Davies and brother Dave actually hugged on stage. Oh, wow. Worst show I've been lucky, I guess. Oh, wow. Leah, yeah, Donnie Iris. God, I love that song. Uncle Elmer, mm -hmm. uh, Jay Giles' band was always a good show. Yeah. Saw them Peter several, Wolf, saw, saw them several times. Their show in the seventies had three encores. Saw the Bengals before they got big, oh. and they were better than opener Cindy Lauper. Wow. Yeah, I like the Bengals. I like Cindy Lauper too, but yeah, I, I lean towards the Bengals. Sean says, "I wholeheartedly agree. You guys should be bigger because you guys are truthful and awesome." Finally, catching a live feed has made my weekend. <laughs> Off, beautiful. Hey, great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, that's, John. That's sweet of you. Very sweet. Appreciate that. Uh, Glenn says, the best gig I've ever worked was back in the late 80s at the old stadium Toronto when it was a uh, momentary lapse of reason to a Pink Floyd. <gasps> wow. Nice. I've never seen Floyd. Never seen him. Uh, Steven says, <clears throat> yes, tomato tour at the Spectrum, uh, Philadelphia. 
Oh, Tormato, yeah. Yeah. Hello again, Baton Rouge, right on. Glenn. Uh, Hike with Mike, Iron Maiden, 1983, Peace of Mind Tour was a great concert with a huge animatronic Eddie on yeah. stage. Uh, Wizard Wand Music, I saw the Sex Pistols at a place called Randy's Rodeo on, Bond on Bondero Road, wow. San Antonio, Texas, and it was the best and the worst at the same time. I was just, we were just reading something on uh, Sid and Nancy the other day on, on, uh, how much issues that she had in her life. It was just insane. Her mother wrote that book. And a lot of people were saying her mother's milking it. And no one, people want to know. The fact that she was considered mentally challenged for a lot of part of her life. And all of a sudden she kind of grew out of that, but she showed that she still had a lot of problems by the time she got to Sid. It was just a, it was a train wreck. It was awful. Did he murder her? Like what happened? It's an interesting story. I'm thinking of doing something on it. <clears throat> A showstopper, Rob. Hi there, oh, Shannon well, John. Have seen have seen too many concerts. It's hard to say. I've seen Sweet for around eleven hundred times. Oh, Merlin wow. around two hundred and fifty. Wow. Uh, James Steve says, Rothery is just a, an angel. I love talking to him. James says I saw Genesis in nineteen eighty six at the Spectrum in Philly, a very uh, poppy concert. But all of a sudden they started playing the, the Apocalypse in uh, nine eight section of Super's Ready. Supper's ready. Supper's ready. Sorry, never will forget that. Well, yeah. Supper's ready is just the quintessential. That's that's it. You know, came in number one on our prog poll. I say prog poll because we, we didn't ask pop fans because the visible touch would have come in number one then, but we didn't want that because we thought no the the, the, the we don't want to forget Peter Gabriel's era or even Duke or you know by Duke and Abacab things started changing. Uh, Snowman, uh, I'm lucky. I've seen a lot of concerts, Rush Journey, Kiss Kansas, Doobie Brothers, Poison, Death Leopard, and yes. Wow, you've seen some wow. good stuff. Nice. Let's see, likes, how many people, oh, we got 89. 89. <laughs> Press like, can we get to 100? I sound like, I, I sound like an evangelist. <laughs> Jesus loves you. And I don't mean disrespect by saying that. Uh, Randall cool. says, Kansas and Hilton Coliseum. Uh, supporting the Monolith album in late 70s, Steve Walsh was singing, playing, and doing handstands <clears throat> on his piano all while sounding amazing. He did stuff like that. Monolith, I love Monolith. That was a bit more, of course, mainstream. Um, yeah, Children of Southwind. Is that the name of it? Yeah. Uh, Deborah says, Showstopper, Rob Sweet, brilliant. Wow. And uh, Gary says, best concert was 1975 Bob Seger opening up for Bachman Turner Overdrive. Bachman. Oh, Bachman. I still say Bachman sometimes. He says he doesn't care. I just interviewed him, Randy, and I've interviewed him three times. You know, one on the phone, one live on the air and during my afternoon drive show, and then one on Zoom. He said he doesn't care. Sure. Uh, Brandon says, did you ever see Queen with Freddie, Freddie Mercury? No. Love. No. There was one time, they, I think they came to Edmonton and I was not even in town. I forget. Or is that Vancouver? I don't remember. Oh, couldn't go. Richard's asking, have you guys seen the Talking Heads? No. They were never on my A, B, or C list. Even though I'm appreciating their music now as I get older. And... Uh... Four Green Frog, Best Concert, Ambrosia, Fleetwood Mac, oh. Ross Stewart, and Faces at uh, McNichols Arena, Denver, 1975. Speaking of Ambrosia, we've got an interview with Burley Drummond, their drummer, since the beginning, you know, when they were prog in the beginning. Um, we got to put that up. Nice guy. His wife's in the band now. Uh, Dwayne says, greetings from Edmonton, Alberta. Hi, Dwayne, Dwayne, our Edmonton friend. Yes, Carlos, James Taylor at the... Night Center was amazing. Oh, Dwayne, did you go to Rock Circus one or two in Edmonton at the Commonwealth Stadium? I went to number two. I was just curious if you went. Uh, Carlos says, um, oh, I've said that, sorry. Uh, Elkton, best queen 78, 80, and twice in 82. Oh, wow. Yeah, News of the World. You would have seen the News of the World tour. That was great. Showstopper Rob, but to name a few more gigs, I went Scorpions, The Who, Led Zeppelin, Motorhead, Meatloaf, Susie, 
Quattro, Slay, Deep Purple, Tanger, Tangerine Dream, wow. Alan Parsons, Pink Floyd, and Roger Waters. That wow. is a long list. Woo. I keep forgetting I saw uh, Alan Parsons because it was after my, my, my file for Alan Parsons is when they didn't tour, right? In the beginning, in during that uh, Eric Olson stage. Uh, which was the big stage of the band. And now uh, my friend worked for the record company. She got me tickets to, uh, what's that parachute? The parachute, the album with the parachute on it. It's just Alan Parsons. Uh, Jack says his worst was Baby Shambles, but what a spectacle. Mm. Art Matters, best gig show, more than just the show of the day, the weekend lead up, young, older, discuss my fave, small. Paw, 90, grunge band, Miss Paw, <laughs> the venue, Edinburgh 91, Big Show, Rush, Signals Tour. I don't know how you can read that. I, I, when, I can't read I, other people's I cadence. Just, did, 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 did. I'm, I'm terrible reading other people's cadence. That was very different from me. <laughs> no, no disrespect, it's just I can't do that. So. Uh, Carlos says, Tina Turner. Greg, best ACDC Black Ice. Oh, cool. Uh, Hike with Mike the Cure back in 2010 was awesome show too. Are we at 100 yet? Oh, we're at 98, come on. Ooh, two people, two people need to press like. Two people. Uh, Dwayne from um, Edmondson, I've seen well over 200 concerts. Best concerts include uh, uh, Proco. Uh, oh, Proco Harem, yeah. Harem Live with the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra, the Rolling Stones in 1997, Eric Clapton. 105, you guys are awesome. Beck, Buddy Guy, Peter Frampton, and more. Thank you for the likes. Woohoo! Yeah, that's, Yay. that's just nice. <laughs> Oh, now she's getting all chummy because I got 100 likes because she says, you must be important. I got it. Sure, Fox. Worst concert, Michael Frank, so bad I left. Really? I like Woman of the Waves. A lot of people don't know that song. It's very poppy. It came out in uh, early 90s, late 80s. It's so repetitious, but I just love Woman of the Waves. Uh, the Lady Wants to Know, remember? Big hit. Orange Muse, Eric Clampton was a great concert. Mm -hmm. And Stephen says, saw Elton at Madison Square right after 9-11. Oh. It was good, but I was too far away to say it was great. Oh, yeah. We went to see Elton and Billy Joel with my ex-wife, and I and I couldn't get tickets. I'm in radio. I couldn't get tickets. My ex-wife got tickets. We're close to my ex-wife and her husband, and uh, we had fun together. We always have fun hanging around with them. My ex-wife and I should have been friends. It's just, she's a really good friend of mine. I really, I love her. Uh, Ronnie says, John, I depend on you to tell me who we have lost in rock and roll. You always handle with such dignity and respect. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks. I think it's because of, uh, um, I don't, uh, I understand the fact that you and I and the guy down the street and your mother, father, we all have a problem grappling with death. And death is a subject that I've read a lot about that I don't know anymore but I know the mystery's there, because I don't know any more than you or the guy down the road, mm -hmm. but there's something about it that needs to be taught. There's a mystery in, in, in someone dying. I, when my brother died, I think I've said this before, I actually opened his mouth. We all had a chance to go into the room and be alone with the body. He died of cancer. And I went in there, and I, and I don't know why I did it. I go, what am I doing? And I, cut, I, realized, I, I realized I was looking for him. Like I realized he's not there anymore. This is just a body. It was weird. Like when your body does something inadvertently and you don't even know why you're doing it. And a little thing in my head said, you're looking for him. He's not there anymore. It's empty in there. You know, it's something I would never do. I never touch people's teeth. I never do stuff. It's not my, my thing. And uh, yeah. And I started reading every book on near death experiences and ghosts. And I've already been into ghosts at that point, but I don't mind talking about death. I just hope I don't talk about it with, uh, you know, Concerning my family. <clears throat> uh, for a green frog, worst concert, Gordon Lightfoot, about 1977 at Denver Civic Center. Oh. He came across as an arrogant beep. Yeah. Um, I walked out angry. Wow. I saw him in the 80s. I think Shadows was the name of that album when he was all. Sh <coughs> I saw that tour. I think that was the one. Uh, Chris Bergman, three, said Black Crows was so drunk they could barely play. <sighs> Phil Brown, hi Phil, best was Jethro Tull in 71, worst concert, Gordon Lightfoot, 2008. Really, eh? Wow. We uh, almost lost him a few times a few years ago. Joel says, John, I'll be honored to join you, but like you said, life gets in the way a lot of the time. By the way, brother, give Shannon a raise. She's impeccable keeping up with the comments. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, with the mispronunciation now and then thrown into that, but I, I try. We had a guy last week who said, what, what do I have to pay to get a, have a, a, a private chat with Shannon? I'm going, no, it's not that kind of channel, man. It's because I could tell by the way he was talking. I'm going, yeah, yeah, that's it's not that kind of channel. David. And she's not that kind of girl. Maybe I should, I should preface. I should start with that. David Gina, best over three hours of Bruce Springsteen in Buffalo. Worst, Gin Blo uh, Blossoms in Buffalo. The sound was horrendous. Really? Yeah. Wow. I've been to a, show, a few shows like that where you go, what were they thinking? Melody R says, I saw Foreigner outside too. Yeah, I'd like mm. to see Foreigner. Uh, David says, Queen in 76, it was like an explosion in a music shop window. It was amazing. Oh my God. Whew. Oh yeah, that, that's, the, that's the time to see them. Uh, Phil says, I say best with, uh, was Jethro Tull. That's for Phil. We're getting a lot of Jethro Tull tonight. Yeah. It's nice because we've interviewed Ian. Five, I think. I keep, I, I lose track. I don't think it's six. I think it's five times. And Deborah says, showstopper, I love Brian Connolly. Uh, Keith, I enjoy your episode of musicians responding to the Ukraine crisis. Have you heard word of any musicians working on a song about the war in Ukraine? No, not yet. No, I'm sure there's something going on. But whenever that happens, when we had musicians talk about what was happening, there was people coming on saying, no one wants to hear about the musicians going, well, is there a rule against plumbers talking about it? Is there, a... they have a bigger platform and I understand that. But, I mean, what's happening there is pretty, pretty terrible. It's, it's, you know, we wake up every morning, we watch the news and we, we, it's not that we'll have the news channel going on like round the clock and we have to turn it off. We can't, we, it's just too hard. Can you imagine living in it? Oh my God. Fraser J. Hey guys, hope hey, you're both well. John, I just emailed you a screenshot of you and Shannon without a backdrop. Might be useful for future videos. Oh, cool. Cool. Thank you. Uh, Tim. Hey all. Stevie Ray Vaughan in Boston when he lost his voice before the second show me and my brother went to. I don't have the date. It was magical. Wow. I'm jumping ahead a bit here in the comments. Uh, Dave says, biggest disappointment was Collective Soul in Vancouver back in 2000. I it was like them. they were using a cheap AM radio for their sound system, and I was listening to that over the phone. Oh, wow. no, I love oh. Collective Soul so much. His, oh, we've got 113 likes. Thank hey, you. Keep right coming. On. Uh, James says, I saw Black Crows open for Leon. Helm Helm was being treated for throat cancer and could not sing. Oh, Snowman, thank you for your super chat. I lost oh, my brother two, two years, years ago, ago ALS. ALS. He was my concert going buddy. Oh, yeah. Always remember that together. Oh, thank you. See, when my brother died, we weren't very close. We were always fighting like dogs and cats our whole life. We were fighting. And then we became adults and we didn't fight, but we weren't close to each other. And then six months before he died, I just decided, I said, I got to get to them a little bit. And then a few weeks later, he told me, you know, he said, by the way, I'm dying. And I went, and then six months later, he was dead. And I got to, I got, I was the last person to ever talk to him. He looks at me at one point in the middle of the night before he lost his voice because cancer was in his lungs. He says, isn't it weird? He said, you son of a beep beep. You're going to be the last person to ever talk to me. He says, oh, I guess we're catching up for old times. That's the way it goes. And I didn't know Shannon then. That was a few years before I met Shannon. Way of thinking. Hi, John and Shannon. I have seen hundreds of concerts and it's tough to pick out one for the best. But if I had to pick out one, I would say seeing Chicago um, in 1973. Wow, I always want to see them. With Peter Cetera. Fraser J, my first gig was total 1992. Looking forward to seeing my favorite drummer, Jeff Beccaro, but sadly he passed away months before, so I got to see John's favorite drummer instead, Simon Phillips. <laughs> You're paying attention. Thank Ooh, you. Appreciate nice. that. Linda, hi Linda, Bruce Springsteen, 1984, born in the USA in Philadelphia. Wow. A four-hour concert yeah. in Chicago in 78, Hollywood, Florida. Wow, that's the time to see Springsteen, right? God, what, he had like six, seven singles from that album? It was crazy. Wow, Dwayne, other favorite concerts include Bo Diddley, George Thorogood, Judas Priest, Thin Lizzy, Alice Cooper, Nazareth, The Black Keys, Great Big C, and others. That's a lot, yeah. Art Matters, hi Art. Merlin collection hey, at Straws Tour 87 show at Edinburgh Playhouse was awesome. One of many great bands there. Look how many comments you've got. I know, I'm, I'm just trying to just jump the around. The line is in the middle I know, to show I'm, how far about. Like back I said, I'm so far behind, so if I'm jumping around here, sorry. Uh, Ronnie says Meatloaf, three, uh, three Bats Tour at Hershey Giant Center. 
Wow. John says, hi from Connecticut. This is a while back, hey, sorry. Uh, Roadies and rock stars, Pink Floyd Animals Tour 1977, amazing show in quad. That's crazy. Cool. Tarkus, I saw both Pink Floyd and Super Tramp in 1988 in Switzerland. I love both concerts very much. I don't have a worse concert that I can think of. Well, that's great to hear. All the concerts that yeah. you're going to. I, I love Super Tramp. Yeah. I only saw Super Tramp once in their final tour, Famous Last Words with Roger Hudson. It was amazing. Wow. Dwayne says, other great concerts I saw were Stuart Coughlin live with the... Um, Edmonton Symphony Orchestra playing along with the silent film, God, Ben Hur, sure. Sarah McLaughlin, Martin Kerr, and more. We saw Sarah McLaughlin. We actually had um, backstage passes. And, but we also had uh, so front seats. Yeah. yeah. She was great, great concert. Uh, Tim says, I've had the chance to see Paul McCartney at Fenway Park. No way. The sound is horrible, I'm told. Really? Sarah McLaughlin smelled really nice. I don't know what she's wearing, but she smelled really good. <laughs> surfer boy, hello from Boston, John Shannon and all. Hey, surfer boy. Hey, surfer boy, nice to have you here. Man. Uh, Maria wants to know how do I do Patreon or how do I join it? What do I have to do? Uh, we're we're doing it now. What we're, the, the 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 hold up with Patreon is is basically getting all the special videos for people. What we're going to do is is for the most part just have lots of interviews that have never seen the light of day and basically do a lot of one-on-ones with people or group chats and we put your own screen we're talking and stuff and a lot and then some people if they want private you know not with shannon because what that guy asked you today was not about talking some people on the internet he really liked you shannon thanks <laughs> um jerry k best frank zappa 1981 you are what you you are what you is tour seen FZ before, but the show was the best concert I ever saw, hands down. Ooh. Pre 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 Preezy, pre pre darn, yeah. I'm 30 minutes late. Well, That's okay, just, you're here. You bet. Uh, surfer boy, I like bagels. What? You like bagels? Well, that's good. One, 119 likes. Woo. If you're joining us, please like our video. We've never asked people to like our video. I don't know why I don't. <laughs> Deborah Heath, best gig I have ever let a be electric light orchestra. Oh, yeah, Hello. Yeah. Uh, Hype with Mike, another cool concert was at Adventure Island Park Water Park in Tampa, riding the water rides while Brian Adams performed and he just what? hit it big back in 82. What? <laughs> that is crazy. Cool. That'd be fun. <laughs> RF, hello, best concert, probably McCartney at Angel Stadium in. Uh, 93, nosebleed seats, but my first rock show and incredible. Oh my God. Michael Jones says, worst was Rat. Didn't you serve Rat? Who was it that you served? No, I served oh, way back in the day, in my early When she was a waitress. Days. Way, way back. I can't. Oh. Before she started, this is before she started selling million what dollar was it, houses. Was it, was it? Uh, Cinderella? No. I can't remember. It was a hair band. It, I'm pretty it, it sure was it was Rat. Band. I can't remember. Gennaro, another great concert hey, in Chicago. Uh, Felix, hey Felix, who do you think is your best favorite or have the best solo career between Sting, Phil Collins, and Peter Gabriel? Good show, thanks. Oh God, that's a toss up. So, best. We saw Sting and Peter Gabriel together, Chase and I, our son. By the way, he's not here tonight to look after her daughter, that's why we're in this room. Because she's right over there. She's so autistic. sorry if it sounds like a little bit echoing in here. We because he has a job at Costco. Head. This is his second day today working uh, stocking at Costco. And, he, and he, he's uh, reluctantly loves it. It's just because it's new for him. He's never worked outside of the home. He's 18 years old. It's a great way to meet new people in a new city. And he wants to play. He wants to get out there. He's such a good drummer. He wants to play with people. Dee Dee Winfrey, Santana Front Row Center at the Atlantic Civic Center. I'm starting to listen to their old stuff again. Their first three albums. Uh, Glenn says, I just thought of my first ever concert, which was hell of a lot of fun. Irish Rovers at the Holiday Inn in oh. Barrie, Ontario, back in 79. Hey, Oh, I, I, I used to watch their, their specials or TV show in, in the, growing up in the 70s. Yeah, they were great. Uh, Dee Dee says, worst was Cher, LOL. Really? Yeah, I wonder what she sounded like, not because most of her songs, she kind of sounds like she's monetized. 
I, I, I uh, no, she, she's she's uh, uh, yeah, she's got uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, where spin? I think she lip syncs. I don't know, but she might not. But I don't like the way she sings. I've never been a fan. I play Believe a lot on the radio, but it's not my choice. It's, it's a good song. I mean, mm -hmm. you know. uh, Tim says Jimmy Page and the Black Crows at Great Woods in Mansfield. Uh, another great show. Paige was so messed up, he actually smiled a couple of times. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Surfer boy. I saw the police in a small club called The Rat in Boston 78 just before they hit it big. Wow. Cool. Uh, Vaz 22, the cars were the worst concert I've ever seen. They didn't say a word, they played their set and split. I don't remember if they talked. I saw the, I think, Panorama Tour. I didn't like that album very much, but it might have been uh, 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 Candio, but it was one of the two. I like the song Candio. Candio. Uh, Jerry K says, Genesis, uh, Supper's Ready and Raise You, Pink Floyd's Echoes. Oh, wow. We've got 122 likes, oh, ladies and nice. gentlemen. Please like our video. Thank you. Uh, Tim Berry says the uh, the cars were a horrible live show. Again. Um, yeah. I didn't uh, mind them. I don't remember a lot about the concert though. Hmm. Hike with Mike. My first con my first rock concert was when I was six years old at a small park in the town I grew up in. Uh, Harry Chapman lived there. Harry Chapman performed his song "Cats in the Cradle." For all the kids in the park. Yeah, well, <laughs> to bring them down. That's such a beautiful song, but with such a sad sort of story to it, right? You don't have time for your kids, and your kid doesn't have any time for you. You, you know, grew up, you grew up just like me. Uh, Alex's worst show was Jethro Tull recently. Ian's just lost it, unfortunately. Oh, is that right? Oh. Uh, Ken, 5244, best concert, Eric Johnson at a small club in 1990. Someone asked me recently, if, if, would you trade interviewing a person for four or five times to seeing them live, and I went, no, no. I mean, very few people get a chance to talk to some, one of their rock stars one-on-one. -on -one. It's just you, and it's just that person. They give you an hour. You can, I've had five hours of Ian Anderson's time. It's just been him and me, and I went, I wouldn't trade that for anything. That means a lot to me. Soulful Music 100, best concert Bee Gees, Dublin, Ireland, 1998. Wow. Nice. Never saw the Bee Gees. Would have loved to. Of course, it's too late now. Um, very. Felix, who do you think is your best favorite um, or have the best solo career between Sting, Phil Collins, Eric Clapton, and Peter Gabriel? I forgot Eric Clapton. Still the same answer? Uh, well, Clapton, I'm not a fan of Eric Clapton. Um, never have been. I don't know. I'd say uh, Peter Gabriel. It's probably my favorite and, and Phil Collins in, the, in that group. I love Sting, but I like those guys better. As far as personal... DM, I uh, love seeing Avril in Foxwoods in Connecticut and Yanni there too. I played a lot of Yanni when I was doing uh, NAC music, uh, the, the wave format. I left rock and roll. I was still syndicating a rock show, interestingly, while I was doing that. But as far as sitting down and doing a live show, I was doing new age music and syndicating across the country a rock yeah. show called Across Canada Report. <laughs> Uh, Jerry K, best solo solo show I ever saw was John Entwistle. Entwistle, yeah, from, on, the, from yeah, the Who. Yeah. On his Left for Dead tour. Mm. Uh, Gennaro, best concert Bee Gees and the Carpenters in Hall and Oates. Wow. Nice. Uh, Rick Slick, hi Rick, Eric Clampton and Freddie King in 1975 at the TCC. Uh, uh, worst worst best blues concert i've ever been to so worst best people always ask i haven't seen clapton but would i go to see clapton i think now there's a part of his rhetoric that just would probably stop me from spending my money on him i think that that you know he, he just went too far in one direction i mean everyone's got an opinion we understand that and we and like i was starting to say some guys said oh my god how could you understand the, the far right i don't understand the far right but at the same time, I, you got to get in people's minds. You can't hate people, right? When you get into hating anti-vaxxers and anti... I'm going, I don't, I don't want to hate anybody. I want to try to understand them. But you're not going to... You're not going to make friends by trying to make, make them sound stupid, you know, or, or, or call them names, as much as you want to sometimes. But, you know, I have a lot of Republican friends. 
I've interviewed a lot of Republican people and I'm not, I'm not, that's not what I want to do. Melody R, I like your twist on the scariest concert. It was Alice Cooper at a classic rock festival. <laughs> oh God. Oh gosh. Uh, art matters. Ian Anderson's voice is going, should call it a day, like fish, go out on top, not embarrass oneself. I think he's probably going to quit in the next year, maybe two, but I think, because I asked him about retirement. And he says, we just, I do, do tour by tour, you know, he says, I, he, he, it's an addiction for a lot of these guys. They enjoy performing. There's no feeling like it. Fraser J, John, a bit personal, personal here, but you should do a video on your personal experiences. I'm sure people in this channel would love to hear. I don't know if they would. I, I, I think about that. I have the John Bowden channel. If you go into John Bowden channel, just put my name in. It'll take you to a channel, which is just called John Bowden. <laughs> And there's a video of skunks coming towards our house and Shannon says, I wonder where they're going. And we're going, yeah, I wonder where they're going. They're coming to our house. You know how we all, you know, some of us don't like spiders. Some of us don't like snakes, bears, whatever. For me, it's skunks. She hates skunks. And I think it was the worst thing because we woke up one day <coughs> and there was 10 skunks going right. A mother and a... Right, 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 I know they're cute. I, I get that. But for me, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies, right? So I don't mind spiders. Sunny. I don't mind snakes. But when it comes to skunks, I just... And Chase and I, uh, I'm filming Chase, and there's this huge mofo storm coming up. It's so big. It looks like a tornado. <coughs> and that's the only two channels. And I've been thinking of maybe interviewing people outside of music on that channel, like a normal podcast, like jo what Joe Rogan does without the kookiness. Um, we're just having an interesting conversation. I don't know if I'll do it. I don't know. I have that channel. It's under my name. I just wanted to claim my name. That's why I kind of did it, so no one else would claim it. So, Dwayne, other great concerts I have seen is the Tragically Hip, live in London, England in 2013 for Canada Day celebrations, Tom Cochran, Loverboy, Jim Cuddy on a solo tour as a Steve Miller band, and much more. I interviewed Greg Keeler and Jim Cuddy when they, you know, the Blue Royal guys were recording their solo albums. They came in within a few weeks of each other. Reg, best show, Metallica, Soundgarden, Ramones, Devo at the Gorge. Oh, wow. 1996, Devo and his amazing band. Worst concert, Millie Vanilli. <laughs> yeah. Shetty at New Brunswick, Parley Beach. They weren't singing. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> I was so, I was disappointed. I love that music. Because I thought, oh my gosh, there's two guys. They're nice looking. Good looking you guys. Know, they're kind of wrapped up in the package. When can you really get that full deal, you know, that full, full deal, yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh. I was disappointed. I remember thinking, I'm not going to buy too. I wouldn't have bought it. But then, <laughs> but, then after I I, it. but then after I found out that they were lip syncing, the biggest thing I wanted to do was find out, okay, so who were the real yeah. singers? And it was actually... It was actually a mixture of a few different people. Like it wasn't just. They tried to make it too, but by then, by association, even though they were the good guys, it was yeah. it was yeah a difficult thing. Who's uh, 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 uh who's the blonde? She was uh, Nick Lachey's ex-wife. You know the blonde girl. What's her name? Her sister got caught on Saturday Night Live. You know, she sells products, like tons of products. Oh, Jessica Simpson? Jessica Simpson. What's her sister's name? She got caught. Ash Ashley Simpson. Ashley Simpson. That's how much that Yes, she got caught doing that as well. I never looked at her as a musician in any way, shape, or form. I just thought, like, I don't know. You just... And she might have talent, but I don't know. There was a part of me that went, yeah, I'm done. I stopped here. Oh, that's, that's right. right. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, you're okay. You're doing good. Okay. Uh, Orbitson. Worst, Jackson Brown, Steve Earle, uh, Kev... Kev Moe, yeah. Yeah, and best with Stevie Nicks. Have you ever seen... No, I, I don't think I've ever seen Stevie Nicks. We had tickets to Fleetwood Mac, but they canceled as we were walking to Pacific Coliseum in Vancouver. Uh, Dave says, I saw Cheryl Crow's open for Crowd House before she was famous. Her performance absolutely knocked my socks off. Made a fan out of me that night. You know, sometimes there's people, for whatever reason, you just don't like them. I've always felt, I, 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 Tuesday Night Music Club, I like that album. I liked a few other things she did. But for whatever reason, I don't know what it is. I don't know if she's, she, she, I mean, I've heard some interesting things about her, but it doesn't mean they were true. Mm -hmm. Uh, that whole uh, Kevin Gilbert thing, how she never really thanked him and they used to go out together and he brought her into the Tuesday Night Music Club and 
they she kind of turned their back on him. You never really know if that's true or how much of that is true. Um, but even before I heard those stories, look up Kevin Gilbert. He was like a freaking crazy ass, just talented guy. He uh, died by uh, accidental asphyxiation. It was just a bad scene. Uh, Blay says, Sister Shannon, what was your favorite concert? My oldest daughter will be 53 this year. Her favorite was Duran Duran. God bless. Mm. I say um, Don Henley, End of the Innocence Tour. That we I, that was one of my tops. And I, I was also, at the same show. With, and, she was with someone. I was with someone else. And then I also like <laughs> the um, the Billy Joel, Elton John face to face tour that we went to with mm -hmm. your ex wife and her husband. Two of probably my. Top oh, I should clarify. We, we hadn't met each other yet, so just to clarify, <laughs> it's not like she went with another guy. <laughs> yeah, we were swinging. Um, no, uh, she was with her ex-boyfriend. I was with my ex-girlfriend. Who was it? You were with Roy and I was with Andrea. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everett <clears> says, <throat> Peter Gabriel on this uh, security tour, it was almost a religious experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim says, Meatloaf and Pink Floyd are on my bucket list items that, that'll never happen. I'm holding out for a super tramp reunion. Mm. Uh, Rick Davies has multiple myeloma. It's not an easy thing to get over, but he's lasted a lot of years with it. It kills most of the people that get it at, at, at a certain level, at a certain age, but he's done well. They have new treatment for it too. Uh, GGXLY Chan, Galaxy Chan, hello from Scotland. Hey, hello, thanks for joining us. Uh, Bob's Place, I've seen Elvis Paul McCartney, Chicago three times, including the original band Kenny Rogers three times, the Beach Boys three times, Alabama three times, Barry Manilow, Jerry Lee Lewis, and James Burton on you, guitar. You have incredible taste in music. Good for you. You go the extra mile to see people a few times. That's cool. Uh, DJ H Record Hound, worst anything at Sky Dome, Toronto, Billy Joel with Elton John was a disappointment. Uh, Billy asked, is this place famous for bad sound? Oh. The, crowds, the crowd's boo was the clearest sound of the night. Oh my God, eh? Oh no. We like the Billy Joel. We, yeah, and, it, it's, and that was in Vancouver that we saw it. Uh, Melody says, my sister took me to see Bobby Vinton when I was 10. I lost her to cancer seven years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. It's really difficult. Uh, Gennaro, thank you, Shannon John, for a great music, uh, great reaction to the music of Lucy Thomas. You guys rock. Uh, very, very talented. Welcome, and thanks for joining us too, Gennaro. Sorry That's it took so long. Yes, but better late than never. Oh my God, that band I was talking about, I saw them tonight on my, my, uh, my um, Spotify. Oh no, I forget their, oh man, I can't believe the band I was talking about that I listened to them, I really like them. Yeah. I'm sure what kind of a music guy I am. <laughs> Fraser J, best comments I saw was John Shannon tour 2022. What the what? hell? Okay, that's that's cute. Uh, Jeffrey. Shannon's actually a really good singer. No, I'm not. I, I'm not. But she knows she can't sing, and when she sings, it's really cute. Well, that's not true because sometimes there's an odd song that's, yep. that's in my wheelhouse. Everyone's got a song in their Like the Bangles, sometimes I can hit one of their. Yeah, the, what's the numbers. name of the flame? What, what's it called? The Eternal Flame. Eternal Flame. Like, yes. yeah. and, and no, I will not be singing. There will be no singing. There will be no singing, no karaoke. It's like that guy who wanted a private chat with you. I don't think he wanted you to sing on that private chat. I can't <laughs> believe, I, to this day, I'm telling my friends, I can't believe someone asked. She, can I just talk to Shannon by myself? And he, he, a lot of innuendos and going, no, what is wrong with you? <coughs> so we blocked him from the chair. Art says, hit the like music lovers for John and Shannon. We Thank love you. you. Thank you so much. Uh, the cars did not perform well at the hall at the Rock and Roll um, Hall of Fame induction. Only time I got to see them. Mm. And that was from Orbison. I, I saw them uh, once, I think with XTC, or was that the police with XTC? I forget who both of them. I always have to call my ex-wife. Remember, no, we're all friends with my ex-wife, so it's not weird. Um, yeah, she always remembers who we saw with people. Uh, driver, 6216, uh, Harry Chapin, 1977. Chapin. Chapin, sorry. He's before 19, your time. 1977 at the National Stadium, Dublin, Ireland, long time ago. Knew little about Harry back then. I was so impressed, been a fan ever since. Still plays albums on vinyl to this day. Oh. I walked into the studio and I remember I was checking the BN wire, which is what we call it in Canada, and it came over the wire that he had died on, the, on driving a, 
a, a, a Volkswagen uh, um, Rabbit he was driving, and uh, and a few other details, and I was just stunned that he had died. So yeah, I was I was in the radio station when it, when we got news. Uh, Rock child of the 60s went to see one of Van Halen's last concerts before Eddie passed away. I can't pick a favorite uh, concept, but really enjoyed Graham Nash back in, back in 15. Oh yeah. Uh, common sense, best Roger Waters, The Wall of Wembley, worst never had one love live music. Must mention Steve Haley, who said the story of the song before he sang it. I always like when people do that, they'll give you a little preamble of the song. Mm -hmm. And then there's like, you're looking for it or you're trying to find that meaning or you're in that zone as you're listening to the song. I like when people used to do it on albums as well. Ian Anderson did that with the new Jethro Tull. He didn't want us to ask about the specific songs. He said, here's the meanings. And here's why we haven't released an album in so long. Don't ask that. And I went, oh, that's fine. I'd rather ask to talk about Aqualon and Thick as a Brick and you know, Bursting Out, you know, all those albums, Miss Girl in the Gallery, mm -hmm. Songs from the Wood, you know. Uh, Kevin Dobson, can you do a video on the late Robert Palmer? We kind of did one on five artists who died without a lot of fanfare. And we thought that he had died without a lot of fanfare, which is weird. I saw him in concert. He barely said a word to the audience. He was good, though. He was really good. Uh, Kevin Steele, hi, best show, yes, 1977. Going for the one tour. Everything was perfect. Donovan oh, opened and got to hear Atlantis time. live for the first time. Uh, uh, 9.30. It was oh. magic. We're show Jimmy Buffett. Weather. Can I tell you my Jimmy Buffett story? Uh, Kirk Hansen was a guy, I don't know if he's still alive even, because Kirk had... Um, interesting hobbies anyway um oh yeah <laughs> kirk got on the radio and used to butcher people's names i know i've said this before and i used to say kurt you're gonna get a really low voice great radio voice from the c fun days which is a classic radio station we both worked at in uh, in vancouver one of the biggest radio stations in the country anyway he would go on there and butcher people's names by and that was his thing and i said kurt you're gonna get fired you can't do that and you get on there that's jimmy buffet that's buffet Oh, and I go, why are you doing that? <laughs> and he always introduced him to that. Jimmy Buffet, that's Buffet. And, and you know, you probably said that a few times now. So she whenever, said it so once. So whenever I'm looking at Jimmy Buffet, <coughs> but the first thing I think is Buffet. I was like, Buffet. Oh. <laughs> Jimmy Buffet. Kirk Hansen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh God. Um, Hannah's Town, Bill Bowers, Hall and Oates, 1988 show. Uh, Skinner had Brett Michaels from Poison, from up, from right up the road here was a blast, and Sammy Hager and David Lee Roth was the best ever. Wow. Nice. And you know, the thing about Paul and Oates in 88, they were on top of the world. They were like on top of the freaking <laughs> world. They, they over surpassed Simon and Garfunkel as the most successful duo of all time, uh, chart-wise. Hi, Mauro. Worst concert, Toto at Rama. Uh, Bobby Kimball lost his voice. Lukather had to do multiple solos. Oh, is that right? Yeah, Bobby's had some problems. Bobby's not doing well, by the way. Not doing well at all. So they're trying to get this documentary done. Post-haste. Uh, Keith, uh, Stephen says, Keith Richards was a student at the art school before Charlie Watts and Bill Wyman joined the band. They played at his art school the first couple of times. Mm. I, mean, I so enjoy hearing, because I'm living vicariously through you. I've seen, a, I've seen hundreds of shows as well, of course, because I'm in radio and get a lot of free tickets. But there's a lot of bands, especially in the 80s when I got sidetracked doing NAC music, the wave format, that <clears throat> I remember I think Toto would have come through. And again, I wasn't available. Boston came through. I wish I would have seen them. I don't know why I didn't go see Boston. It made no sense to me. Chicago came. You know, and plus I worked evenings then. I was one of those guys, people said, why are you working evenings? You're, gonna, you're, you're like, you're on top of your game. I'm going, I like evenings because people leave me alone. And it was so strange to look back and I'm going, but you can't change anything because they have to change anything. I wouldn't have met her in 97 or, you know, had these beautiful kids that I love. Uh, Dennis says, best was a Yes Union tour or worst was ZZ Top. Oh, Union. Union has a, a checkered sort of a, 
No, John Anderson told me this is you was sort of a mess. You know? I mean, that's our daughter. She's autistic. I think she's ready. You have to wait. Well, I think Five minutes. Oh, what time is it? Oh, she's. she's oh, you got to give it to her. No, she actually wants her apple. Oh, she's okay. Asking. I'll. I'll. Uh, you. You. you okay. I got. I got to do it. Because. Okay. Okay. We're gonna. Oh. Oh, I'm sore when I walk around. Where are you going? I'm just gonna bring it downstairs for a second. Oh, certainly. And I have to record my show. Yes. I'm gonna take you downstairs to our. So I guess I'm gonna say bye. Good night, Shannon. Oh. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Bye. And Danica's over there. Danica, say hi. Danica, say hi. Where are you? Say hi. That's what autism looks like at 23, and she's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful child. Now and then she has a few bad days because with autism comes OCD, but she's a really nice. And there's our, you want to talk about, okay, I'll let me, before I let you guys go, I want to show you something because this is, this is, uh, these are autographed albums that I had behind me. There's that Neil Peart sticks that Chase got. These are, it, it, there's a reason to this madness. That's total autograph stuff. These are all, Autographed albums that have to go up here. That's Chase's drum kit. And of course, as you most of you know, I do my interviews here. And the drum kit's behind that. And sometimes I'll do, sorry about the rounding. Sometimes I'll do my interviews here. So, because these two windows have a lot of light coming through, but I'm backlit. So there you go. And remember on my old videos, we always had the real to real. My boss gave me that because I actually recorded some of my early interviews uh, in radio. So even though that looks like a mess, it's actually an organized mess. So thank you. God, this is bad light for me. I look like I'm a thousand years old. Um, thank you for being with us tonight. Sorry we didn't get to all the comments. And thank you so much for the people who super chat super chatted us. Like I said, at last this week, we finally have a plan. A few musicians helped us. Because musicians usually have people who help them with marketing. And I, I'm not going to tell you who it was, but it's a fairly big band. One of the people that I interviewed basically said that you should be bigger. And it was really nice. He said, you know, you're, you've got an amazing channel. Um, uh, let us help you. And they, they didn't, they're not doing it for free, but we have a marketing plan with them and they're going to help us market our channel a little bit. So every time someone donates some money to us, we put it towards that. We, everybody who's ever donated money, we always put it on the side of going. And now we have at least a little nest egg to spend. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's enough for us to start to promote the channel and do it with people who know what they're doing. And we've never spent a cent on advertising on this channel. We've gotten to almost 90,000 subscribers without going out and doing that. And I wanted to do it 200,000, but it, we need to get to 100,000. That's just the bottom line. So for the folks who donated tonight, thank you so much for the super chats. It'll go to advertising. It, it Again, it means an awful lot to us. Um, I have to go do my radio show now in my Vancouver radio show. Look, we're still on the old feed with Shannon here. So in, indirectly, Shannon's still with us. So there you go. Someone wanted to see the album collection. I don't have a lot. There's some albums there as well, but that's that's the album collection. And I got, I don't have, I'd like to have vintage equipment. I, I still have, um, oh, thanks, Art. I still have, by the way, in the, in, look at, here's the nails to put up the autographed albums. Ding, I haven't touched them yet. But I still have the turntable I had in 1979. I bought this for $399.79. It was regular $499. Top of the line, Akai, quartz lock turntable. These are just, Use JBL speakers that I bought. I got a really good deal because I can't really afford to buy a lot of uh, vintage equipment. It's um, it's too expensive. Anybody out there trying to buy vintage equipment? It's just crazy. So anyway, uh, look at this. Thank you. Eighty-two dollars in donations tonight. I appreciate that so much. And uh, to get us, you know, to get us to where we need to be, because like I said before, YouTube's an un. It, like you got, you have a good month and you have a bad month, and and we just work every single day now. We never have a day off because we know we're lucky to have this. We're lucky to be able to stay at home and work, 
and you know it makes a big difference in our lives. So again, I'm going to sign off. But for anyone who donated tonight, thank you for super chats. It means a lot to us. And uh, uh, and let us know in the comments. By the way, after we come off, if you don't mind, uh, let me know what kind of things you want to see on this channel. You know, because sometimes we'll put uh, we'll work a, a whole day on a video, and that means me, Shannon, Chase. Shannon's writing it. I'm going in there and going, okay, did she write it right? Um, voicing it, Chase produces it, and I do the banners, and, and it's just a whole day of three people working around the clock. Um, and then it'll get 500 hits, and we'll go, I don't know why. We thought this was an interesting topic, but it's a hit and miss thing. That's what I mean on YouTube. Um, so we're working hard with this. And sorry about the echo. We're not in our studio tonight because we have to look after Danica, but it's okay. Anyway. We're working on Patreon. We've got all the interviews now. We're just slowly putting them up for people who join our Patreon and they uh, support us that way and, and we'll have live chats and stuff like that. Okay, I'm talking too much. Anyway, um, thank you for everyone who, who was on tonight. I'm going to go record my show now. Love you guys. Thank you. And thanks for making this possible. It means a lot, man.